All right, film lovers, let's do this. This video, as the title states, will cover both the snubs, in my opinion, as well as my predictions. And as far as snubs go, I mean, Fruitville Station, Blackfish, Placement on the Pines, Blue is the Warmest Color, and what about Man of Steel and Pacific Rim for best sound and special effects? I mean, in those categories, those movies were amazing. Hello? I don't know, it just seems like every nominee came from the second half of the year, and more precisely, the holiday season. Regardless, I will be covering only the categories where I've seen all the nominees. If there's a category that has one or more films in it that I haven't seen, then I'm not addressing it. Example, Best Animated Feature Film. I could say Frozen, but I haven't seen two of the films on that list, and I'm not gonna assume that they're just not as good as Frozen, because that'd be just plain rude. Then there's a few that I just don't have any personal investment in, like Best Song. I will not be covering that. But I will be doing Best Director, Picture, Actor, Actress, Screenplay, Production and Costume Design, Cinematography, Sound Editing and Mixing, Special Effects and Editing. And we're working from top to bottom. All I'll say is who I think will win the award. And then I'll have the poster for that movie or the headshot for that actor or actress come up. Simple. That said, let's begin. Best Picture. Best Actor in a Leading Role. Best Actress in a Leading Role. Best Actor in a Supporting Role. Best Actress in a Supporting Role. Best Cinematography. Best Costume Design. Best Director. Best Film Editing. Best Production Design. Best Sound Editing, Mixing, and Best Visual Effects. Best Adapted Screenplay. And finally, Best Original Screenplay. The Academy Awards are in March, so that's when we'll find out. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'm all right than wrong. <laughs> Either way, have a good day.